World Microbiome Day will take place on the 27th of June. It is a day to celebrate all things microbial. So what is a microbiome? Microorganisms, also called microbes, include bacteria, fungi and viruses, and they are pretty much everywhere. Even though they are usually invisible to the naked eye, they live in and on plants, animals, water, soil, food and humans. Within each of those habitats, microorganisms form communities called microbiomes. The trillions of microbes in our body help us to digest our food, produce important vitamins and help our immune system to fight off bad bacteria. We can promote the growth of good bacteria in our digestive system by eating certain nutrients and bioactive compounds. These can be found in foods like fruit and vegetables, but also in functional foods like nuts, cereals and fish. Researchers at APC Microbiome Ireland, a world leading SFI research centre, have highlighted foods that support a healthy microbiome. Professor Paul Ross has selected porridge. Porridge contains beta-glucan, which increases the diversity of your gut microbes and promotes the growth of beneficial bacteria such as bifidobacteria in the colon. Professor Paul O'Toole has chosen blueberries. Blueberries are linked to antioxidants, lowering inflammation and healthy aging. They are not active when you eat them, but after they reach your gut, your microbes make them bioactive. Christine Olipot has picked soft cheese because it contains lactic acid bacteria which, among other things, produce exopolysaccharides that feed gut microbes and encourage their growth. Professor John Marcy has selected kefir. Kefir is good for your microbes because it contains a unique combination of good yeasts and bacteria, as well as the nutrients that support their beneficial activities in the gut. Professor Marcus Klassen has chosen asparagus because it is full of prebiotics like xylose, inulin and flavonoids, which are great for health promoting lactobacilli and bifidobacteria. Professor Dow of Incinderin has picked cereals. Cereals are good for your microbe because they contain Aravana xylan, which stimulates specific bifidobacteria, which then produce health promoting molecules while also facilitating slow release of energy. Professor Jared Fitzgerald has selected onions. Onions are good for microbe because they have prebiotic components which will contribute to the growth of bifidobacteria. They also taste great roasted with parmesan. Professor Jens Walter has chosen beans because they are full of fibre which can change the metabolic profile of the gut microbiome in a positive way. Professor Sabrata Ghosh has picked extra virgin olive oil. There is compelling evidence that extra virgin olive oil can improve the metabolism and quality of life of humans, prevent disease and prolong life. Professor Marietta Yaakuchi has selected live yoghurt. Live yoghurt can, can contribute to addressing lactose intolerance. Some yogurts are also supplemented with health-promoting microbes, known as probiotics. Dr. Harriet Shellikins has chosen strawberries. While the Irish weather can be unpredictable, the arrival of strawberries is a sure indicator that summer is here. They are a rich source of fibre, vitamins and antioxidants, all of which contribute to a healthy gut microbiome. Professor Paul Cotter has picked kombucha. Kombucha is a fermented drink, normally made from black tea, sugar and a scoby, it can contain flavonoids, vitamins and other bioactive compounds that can exert antioxidant, antimicrobial and other beneficial effects. Dr. Alicia O'Connor has selected pulses, which include lentils, peas and beans. Packed with protein, prebiotic, soluble fibre, vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals and polyphenols, these are helpful to maintain a healthy blood lipid profile, improve transit time and keep you full. Professor Limo Mahani has chosen peanuts and tree nuts. Consumption early in life protects against food allergies, possibly by feeding the beneficial members of the infant microbiota. Dr. Jar Clark has picked fennel because the fennel pulp is high in fibre. Professor Orlo Sullivan has selected green olives. Olives are fermented in a salt water brine, rendering them rich in gut friendly lactobacilli. Mariada Barrao has chosen broccoli. Broccoli's rich content of dietary fibres polyphenols and sulforane supports a diverse and healthy gut microbiota by contributing prebiotics and antioxidants, fostering an environment conducive to beneficial bacteria growth and reducing inflammation. Dr. Siobhan O'Malley has picked pears because pears are high in fibre, vitamins and antioxidants. They also contain phytoestrogens which help balance hormones. The nutrients in pears are taught to fight inflammation, promote gut and heart health and even aid weight loss. Professor Yvonne Nolan has selected walnuts. Walnuts are nutrient powerhouses of omega-3 fatty acids, 
fibre, magnesium, polyphenols and antioxidants. When metabolised in the gut, they produce anti-inflammatory compounds good for the brain and for healthy ageing. Ashley Egan has chosen bananas because they contain fibre and phytochemicals which promote the growth of good bacteria in your gut. Dr Maria Alberto has picked oily fish. Oily fish is an excellent source of polyunsaturated fatty acids, renowned for their cardioprotective properties and other health benefits. Rita Maloney has selected flax seeds. Flax seeds are a good source of dietary fibre and omega-3 fatty acids. Flax seeds have been proposed to improve digestive health, relieve constipation, maybe even lower cholesterol and potentially have a beneficial role in breast cancer. Dr. John Kenny has chosen apples because they are rich in fibre and antioxidants. They're also known to keep the doctor away. And finally, Professor Catherine Stanton has picked breast milk. Human milk contains oligosaccharides that shape the gut microbiome of infants by selectively stimulating beneficial bifidobacteria and other bacteria. There you have it, a great selection of microbiome-friendly food.